Well, thank you. Thank you, all of you, for being here today. Thank you to uh, uh, Chief Maynard and Scott Walker with the Byrne Institute. Um, it might be kind of warm here today, but as we all know, there was an amazingly cold uh, winter chill that we all experienced uh, just a week or so ago, and uh, it's coming back in the next, uh, this weekend, unfortunately. And, you know, when the cold weather rolls around, everyone starts turning on those space heaters and, and uh, fireplaces and gas heaters, and all of those things increase the risk of fires uh, to our homes. Um, and, you know, just uh, in the last couple of weeks, there actually have been a number of home fires, not just in my district, but uh, throughout the county. So my office decided to team up with the fire department and the Burn Institute and remind people of the importance of having smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors that are actually working and functional, especially for our seniors. You know, the statistics for seniors are staggering. And, I, you know, I got interested in this because there are so many seniors in my district. So adults ages 65 and older, two times more likely to die in a home fire. And at 75 years old, that risk actually triples. Um, the Byrne Institute estimates that there are thousands of San Diegans living in homes without working smoke alarms and um, more don't even have carbon monoxide detectors. I found this out last year when my staff teamed up with the Byrne Institute. We went in as part of a program to install carbon monoxide detectors and what we found were a lot of uh, smoke alarms that were not working. People, either the batteries were dead or people had just pulled the batteries out because they didn't want to hear the beeping. Well, unfortunately, that could um, put your life at risk. And beginning just this month in January, state law now requires working carbon monoxide detectors in all homes that have fossil, uh, excuse me, fossil fuel burning appliances, and that also includes all apartments and condominiums. So if you have a stove, a gas heater um, in your house or apartment, you absolutely must have a carbon monoxide detector. And carbon monoxide is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. So you don't know, unless you have a detector, if there's a buildup in your home. Uh, we've also had a story recently where a family that thought they had the flu, they actually had carbon monoxide poisoning. So um, just feeling sick isn't enough to alert you. You need the detector. So please take a moment, check your batteries, and make sure that uh, you're... You, you know, you're responsible for your life and that you're doing everything you can to keep your, your family safe. It only takes a few minutes. So um, thank you. And now I'd like to introduce San Diego Fire Chief um, Javier Maynard. Thank you. Well, thank you, Council Member Zapp, and thank all of you for joining us here today. You know, as both our city's fire chief and as a member of the board of directors of the Byrne Institute, I'm acutely aware that we're going to save a lot more lives by preventing tragedies than we ever will by responding to them. So it's critically important today to highlight the importance of smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors in our homes. Uh, the City of San Diego Fire Rescue Department has long had a partnership with the Byrne Institute. We carry smoke detectors on our, uh, on our fire engines. We also are beginning to carry carbon monoxide detectors. And as we go into the homes, particularly of the elderly, as the council member pointed out, if we find some that are non-functioning or, or are missing, uh, we provide those smoke detectors, replace them free of charge. Now those were uh, a courtesy to us from the Byrne Institute, but also as a result of donation by the First Alert Corporation, who provided many, many smoke detectors for us. Um, I'd like to thank First Alert for doing what they've done. Once you've installed a CO detector, it's important that you do a few things. You need to test it once a month and replace the alarm itself according to the manufacturer's directions. They do not last forever. If the, smoke, if the carbon monoxide detector sounds, it's, uh, if it's battery powered, it could be an intermittent alarm just telling you that the battery is low. If it's a steady alarm and you're unable to determine whether there's a carbon monoxide issue in your home, we ask that you evacuate your home so you don't develop those flu-like symptoms uh, that we have with carbon monoxide poisoning or that you don't die from the exposure. Don't re-enter the house uh, until any responding agency said that it's okay to do so. All of our fire engines are equipped with special monitors they can bring into your home to determine whether carbon monoxide gas is present. They will go through your house, they will look at it. If everything is safe, they will allow you to enter. Uh, and report the alarm uh, to the first responding agencies by calling 911. That is an appropriate emergency and is something that we provide a service. To reduce your risk of CO poisoning, don't run a vehicle, generator, or other fossil fueled engine or motor inside your home. Even if your garage doors are open, don't do that. 
If you have fuel burning household heating equipment, make sure that they're checked along with your chimney at least once a year by a certified technician. And never, ever use your oven to heat your home. CO alarms are not substitutes for smoke alarms. You really need them both. And the industry has developed some that are now combination alarms, so you can kill two birds with one stone. But please, as the council member pointed out, these are now all required by law in single family and multifamily dwellings. You want to prevent a tragedy. Help yourself, help your family, make the investment. With that, I'd like to introduce the executive director of the Burn Institute, Scott Walker. Javier, thank you. That was all very good information. The Burn Institute provides fire and burn prevention as well as burn survivor support. One of our programs, the Senior Smoke Alarm and CO Alarm program, allows the Burn Institute to install uh, these alarms for qualified seniors. These life-saving devices are now required in all single-family residents as well as apartments that, like we said before, have fossil fuel sources. If you are a property owner over the age of 62 and are interested in having the Burn Institute install a smoke alarm or a CO alarm in your house, please contact the Burn Institute at www.burninstitute.org or call 858-541-2277. Thank you very much.